Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and it's the first of the month which means it is time for a new sheet load of cards. I hope you'll stick around, see this month's sketch, see the first set I made and find out how you can download the printable for free. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. If you've been around my channel long, you know that the first of the month means that I put out a new sheet load of cards printable for my subscribers. Now, if you don't know sheet load of cards, this is a free printable I put out each month that is two pages and tells you how to get the most out of your pattern paper and cardstock using a single sketch. The printable is free to subscribers and at the end of this video, I'll tell you where to find that download link. Before I tell you how to download that link though, I will share with you a look at the printable and I will show you the first set of cards that I made. Tomorrow, I will be back with the full process video and my team of collaborators will be joining me and sharing their sets here on YouTube and over on Instagram. Now I do have everybody linked in that description box below. If you don't already follow them, I would go ahead and do that so you're all ready for tomorrow. I have many people leave comments and they're like, where can we find all the links? Now I do have a special visual archive where you can see a thumbnail image of each page one of the printables with a direct link. You can have access to that if you become a channel member. While I'm speaking about channel members, I do just want to give all of them a great big shout out. Thank you so much to each of you who support me here each month. You keep me crafting here on YouTube and sheet load free for all subscribers. Now, if you're ever interested in finding out more about the perks of channel membership, I do have a link in the description box below. Are you ready to see the March 2022 sheet load of cards? Here is a look at this month's free two page printable. On the first page, you have the sketch and supply list. And on page number two, you have all of the cutting guides. I do want to point out that this is another special edition. It does use six by six paper. And this month's card sketch was inspired by Anya Luchenko, who is at Anya L Studio over on Instagram. I saw her card that is up on screen now, and I totally loved that center area with kind of that embellishment cluster. So I reached out to her to see if I could use it as a sheet load because I thought it would make a great layout and it would fit cutting guides very well. I was so glad when she said yes. I do have her Instagram account and her blog linked in the description box below. I would love it if you would go follow her and leave her some love. Let's take a closer look at page one. Like I mentioned before, we have the sketch on the left and each of the pattern paper and cardstock pieces are numbered here or lettered, I guess. This month's sheet load will yield you six total cards using six pieces of six by six paper, three solid cardstocks for sentiments and matting, and three other solid cardstocks for your card base. Now, if you like the sketch, but you don't necessarily want to make six of them, I do have the dimensions of each piece right here in the middle. At the bottom, as always, there are some alternative ideas, whether it's changing the size and shape of the sentiment piece or the image area, using more embellishments, popping pieces up with foam tape. You can use sheet load as a starting off point for your cards. Also to note on page one at the top, I do have the two hashtags that I would love for you to use if you share your cards here on YouTube or over on Instagram. I always love to see what you create each month. On page two, I give you the cutting guides for each of the pattern papers and the card stocks. 
You'll want to make note on CS2, this would be a great way to use up some scraps. So you necessarily do not need a full sheet of cardstock. I know today that I will be trying to use up some of my own white cardstock scraps. On a side note, right over here, I do have my Instagram account handle, and I also recently joined TikTok and have shared a few videos there and hope to go live starting in March. If you are on TikTok and would like to follow me, I do have my link toward the bottom of my description box. Let's go ahead and take a look at the main supplies I use for my cards. For this month's cards, I will be using papers from the Sunshine and Rainbows 6x6 Designer Series Paper Pad from Stampin' Up. As you might know, I love rainbows. And last month, I had one of my subscribers, who is also a channel member and crafty YouTuber, send me this paper pack as a little present. Thank you so much to Carmen, and I will have her channel linked in that description box below, so you can go check her out when you're done here. From that pad, I chose six different papers, and I chose two of three that I want to go together. So I have the rainbows, the yellow kind of blobby paper, and the stripes. Now you could always choose the same sets of three, or you could do one set of three that is completely different from that second set. I just thought for my focal points with my colors, I would go ahead and just keep these all the same. Now, if your paper is double-sided, which these are, sometimes you can flip-flop those back and forth too to get different looking cards. For my focal point, I use this oval die from Spellbinders, the My Favorite Things Micro Cloud Edges Stencil, and their Happy Rainbows die set. I did do a little bit of ink blending with Gina K Designs Ocean Mist, and then of course I have my new Waffle Flower brushes that are color coordinated. I got these recently and am in love with them. Now, one other thing that I use on my cards is a little bit special. Let me tell you about that. Another product that I use on my cards is the stamp set that I came out with last month in coordination with Not Too Shabby that was actually a stamp and stencil bundle. Now it was available for pre-order until the end of February. If there are any extra sets when the order comes in, I will be sure to let you know. But this is a six by eight stamp set with botanical images, sentiments, and coordinating splatter stamps. And it also came with a two pack of coordinating stencils. I will have a video linked below that shows Shows you this up closer and you can see a card that I made with it. Speaking of cards, let's go ahead and take a look at that first set. I hope you enjoyed that little look at my cards using the March 2022 sheet load. If you did, a thumbs up is appreciated. Now let me tell you how you can download the printable for free. As always, I do ask that you are a subscriber to my channel before you download the file. It's quick, it's easy, it's free. There's just a button right underneath this video. I don't make you email me with any proof or sign up for a mailing list. We do just go on the honor system here. In the description box below, right below my TikTok link is a link to this month's printable. Now below it, it will say to watch the video for a password, but you watching this far is your password. You can open it, view it on screen and use it from there, or you can download it to your device and print it. That is up to you. And even though mine is in color, this will work in black and white as well. Don't forget, I'll be back tomorrow with the process. And until then, I hope you're having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.